Now, a lot of you guys sent me a DM today telling me to check out this interesting new airplane concept. Everybody, the Aero Cart. Here's an interesting render here up in the sky. And you can see, well, this isn't your usual airplane for sure. Obviously, it seems to be somewhat autonomous. It does not have any, you know, passenger cabin nor pilots in there. So this is flown by a computer. That's quite boring. We've heard, we've had these concepts for years. But what's interesting is that it doesn't have engines at all. It's practically a glider plane that's pr probably pretty bad at gliding, actually. Hmm, what the hell? I mean, it has this interesting rope here. Everybody, yes! Introducing Aerocart, a concept made by the um, company of Aerolane that was uh, founded in 2021. And they had a crazy idea. If you look at this interesting silhouette render, everybody, yes, a month ago, I had an interesting idea of, you know, towing airplanes with other airplanes, right? kind of like a trailer plane. That idea definitely isn't original at all. I mean, it's practically just derived from, you know, the glider world. Obviously, I mean, how do you get a glider up in the sky? It doesn't have any engine. Of course, it has to be somewhat towed up into the air. And that is made through a towing plane that gets the plane off the ground and then, you know, the glider plane unhooks and then goes free on its own to then use thermals that are in the air, you know, created by the sun. You know, my idea of towing non-glider airplanes with airliners didn't really work out very well. I crashed quite a few times because it's quite hard to keep a stable flight if you're towing another airplane on the back. Oh no, we've crashed. We Oh, we've become an entanglement. And we can see it already. <laughs> Whoopsie. So I found this interesting new concept, quite interesting. Here we have another render here, this, maybe like a C-130 towing this interesting thing. So maybe watch the trailer video that Aerolane Company posted. Oh, Meet that's the Aerocart. Aerolane's automated towed cargo glider. The Aerocart mm. can take off, fly, and land automatically under tow and instantly boosts the payload capacity of any flight. It enables okay. rapid deployment increases network agility and reduces costs. Aerolane has developed two automated tow cargo gliders currently flying today. Mm. The first okay. Aerocart demonstrator is a converted 1,000 pound Pipistro oh, virus. Pipistro. The lightweight proof of concept glider not only okay. demonstrated yep. autopilot capabilities in flight, but also proved the scalability of fuel savings and efficiency gains. But this was only the beginning. In summer 2023, Aerolane flew its second demonstrator, the Beechcraft Baron's payload capacity is normally 1,000 pounds, but with Aerocart, mm. it easily doubles its payload. Behind mm. the Baron, the Aerocart optimizes its position in the air to drive the greatest fuel savings. Today, Aerolane is flying a... All right, interesting. I mean, yes, they have their uh, demonstrator airplanes, which are just, you know, your usual GA aircraft. And they practically just um, uh, hooked up to another aircraft. And, you know, the idea is actually quite genius. I mean, imagine being on board an airliner that cannot, you know, carry lots of cargo. So you just hook up another plane just behind it. I think that's, I mean, it is very simple of an idea, but it probably could work. Although I'm pretty sure the company is facing quite a few objectives. That's why we take a look right Right here, we want to simulate that, of course, in the X-Plane Flight Simulator. In order to do that, I'm going to have my main computer right here hooked up to a multiplayer session to my laptop. Yes, everybody, let's spawn into a plane that gets towed now. Let's maybe try a rather boxy airplane. Take a look at this Fairchild Flying Box. Yes, everybody, here you can see we are on slightly worse graphics here on my laptop, but we can see right here we have a rope that I've attached to a hook point on the 737. Yeah, uh, here's the here's the hook. You can see that right there. And of course, we have a hook here on this plane that's being towed here on our Fairchild. You can see, yes, these planes are connected. We do have a cockpit right here, but we don't have to use it very much. We don't even have to turn on our engines yet. In theory, I mean, they kind of showed that. It's relatively easy to set this up. Just connect two airplanes. Let me go ahead and just go full power on our 737. Now, by the way, FYI, here on this simulator, the rope isn't showing. It's just showing here on the laptop. Let's go ahead and release the brake here of our Fairchild, and it's now moving just fine. Let's get into the cockpit of both airplanes and take off. There you go. This uh, won't go wrong at all. Shut up. Yes, yes, yes. Everything's fine. Let's really go full power. All right, beautiful. Nice. How is our little Fairchild in the back? Yeah, everything is good. It's following our footsteps. Although it's kind of struggling. What's going on? <laughs> Uh-oh. All right. Okay. Oh, oh, geez. See, you can already tell what the biggest objective... <laughs> the, oh, my God. 
the biggest obstacle of the Aerolane company will be, and that is the flight computer. Yes, I mean, what we're practically performing is a formation flight. As already displayed in the video, you really need a computer that can follow what we're doing as an airplane and perform the same things. We shall try this again. Dude. All right, let's try again. Now I'm going to have to make sure that this airplane doesn't mess up again using the mouse yoke. I practically have to do what the flight computer is doing. After all, they want to make this very automated. That this really will just work as a trailer. Everybody, yes, we've got trailers for airplanes before GTA 6. That's crazy. Let's go ahead and take off once again our 737. And try to follow along with our fair child. And there you go. You can see that this works relatively well. It works better than I would have thought. Oh, oh, oh God. It's, it's crashed once again, hasn't it? Yes. I mean, one big obstacle as well is in order to make the aero lane concept work, you'd have to make a, a trailer airplane that could connect to any airplane, to big airliners even. You know, obviously we have to make sure this company stays, just, you know, scalable and the planes that fly around most often are airliners, right? And the problem is, I mean, take a look at the huge, the huge trail that this airplane is leaving behind. Take a look at that wake turbulence. I mean, flying a Cessna into these red rectangles would instantly cause a bumpy ride, probably make the airplane fall down from the sky. Really, I'm not quite sure about whether this concept would work on airliners. By the way, um, our dead uh, Fairchild is still being towed along very diligently by our 737. Uh, I think in real life it would have taken this airplane down as well. That's crazy. All right, let's try this again. I will kind of really just want to establish a good flight. You know, no crashes or anything. I want this thing to behave. Please just take off. See, one big problem about this flight simulator is that we, of course, cannot really simulate how the autopilot works. I'm pretty sure they've developed a system that worked quite well, but we can turn on the AI pilot that right here. Beautiful, and that one should be able to keep the plane at quite a bit of a stable flight, right? Problem is, the AI pilot doesn't really know that it's being towed by a, a 737, so it must be very confused, but that is just fine. I mean, I can imagine a few more things that you have to figure out for, for this autonomous plane to do in order to, <laughs> well, avoid a mid-air collision. I mean, what if we are in descent and want to break the airplane? Yes, what if we want to decelerate? Obviously, our AI pilot has to be made aware of that in order for both planes not to collide into each other. Like, like I don't want this thing tailgating me. In fact, it really does have a mind of its own. It's even talking to ATC. It must be very confused, the AI pilot, about why it's being towed by a damn 737. Another scenario I can think about that wouldn't be very safe is possible abnormal flight situations. I mean, right now, here we are on a takeoff. Everything's fine, but something that can happen quite a lot is maybe a rejected takeoff. Something goes wrong. I don't know. Let's reject our takeoff. Well, how would our AI pile be made aware of that? Probably wouldn't be the hardest thing to um, develop a system that, just like with trailers on cars, for example, communicates the you know flight controls made by the pilots to the actual plane that's to be towed. Probably not that far off. So overall, I think this is technically possible, but we haven't talked about, you know, obviously what is the biggest objective for this autonomous to be towed airplane. And that is obviously landing. All right, come on, come on, follow along nicely. Just do what I'm doing. I'm going to try now to get our, both of our planes to land. Is that possible, do you think? All right, let's actually try somewhat of a stable flight. So I'm going to trim out the plane, like, perfectly. All right, now we are about to intercept the ILS right here. Right now it's now the autopilot that's going to land the airplane. I think that is phenomenal. Perfect. It's going to perform somewhat of an auto landing now. I'm going to, um, you know, somewhat try to do what an AI pilot would do. Jesus Christ. Okay. Well, what they would do is perhaps actually just see, you could just see that was quite chaotic. So what I did now was actually just disconnect our airplane. And that is actually what the company is planning on doing as well. Yes, everybody. On final approach, the glider would disconnect from the main airplane and land itself autonomously, which is something that I might not believe in. The problem is, you know, we're facing the very same problem right now. Obviously, we don't have engine power. So there's only one time they could land. Yes, you only have one chance of landing. We, uh didn't do that now. And if you missed that chance, you can't go around. You've got no engine power 
And so, yes, you might have your uh, your host plane, the 737, that's now landed safely thanks to autopilot. But this, the fat child, has just cried. Uh, that's not good. Yes, it's quite a challenging task, this. I do have to say. Yes, well, this idea of having a plane that gets towed along by another airplane might look good on paper. The concept still, of course, is going to have to fight against the usual problems that you have when you talk about autonomous aircraft. Yeah, should we have an autopilot that lands itself? Let's maybe try to take off here with an F4. 14. <laughs> Another big challenge, of course, of this concept will be that such an aero card will have to be somewhat universal. It has to be able to be fitted to most civil airplanes in order for it to be actually be, be useful. Here we go. This is the fastest Fairchild air card that you've ever seen. What actually happened to this airplane if we were to like just pull up? All the way. Yes, it is following along the most performative. Um, Fairchild you've ever seen. Yes, yeah, so overall, I, I, I really do like this concept. Although it seems very much like a fictional idea that probably won't reach the skies. Although I'd be very, very much excited to see for the company of Aerolane to change my mind. I just don't quite believe just yet that the Aerolane concept could ever become somewhat of a scalable product, right? So I thank you guys so, so much for watching this interesting towing video. Here we got the so following. I'll see you guys tomorrow as always. Good night. And a special thanks goes out to my members, my supporters, <laughs> Guns Killer, R27, James Deram, that dude, Anime Gods of Gaming, Derek, Insider Plane, Nishititsu Finer, Professional Jamal, Ryland Williams, and New the York. You've got beautiful names.